Hello everyone, I am Fred Bear, and welcome to another video of Five Nights of Love. Now, I am going to be doing this, since I think I can get this. So, let's see, who should I go for? I think I'll go after the Phantom Generation. So let's just change this to Fred Bear. Red bear. There we go. And I think I'll go after the one that's called mine. Alright, let's get Another adventure awaits. I've heard rumors that this place is haunted by phantoms. Ooh. I don't really know, but I'm getting paid, so I can't complain. Well, that's true. So... There's a paper on the table. Alright. Dear reader, howdy. It's your first day in Phantom Generation. Good luck. You aren't a chicken like the others, I guess. If you really want to know, there's there may be some ghostly characters wandering about. No, don't worry. I don't think they're vengeful spirits. I think of them appear, more of them appear at later nights. You can communicate with them if you want. Pay attention to what they say because they might ask you questions. Go ahead and do some ghost busting or ghost loving. Alright, so like all the others, I'm going to sweep the floor the first day so I can get all the money for Gift Boy. There we go, I got $93. Almost a hundred, if only I found seven more. All right, I've made it to day two. The Phantom seem to be more active starting next night. Do you think you're hungry for love? You're hungry for love? Well, have a good day. I have to catch up on some supernatural. All right. So, oh, hello, Mime. I did not think I was going to find you. So, I'm just going to call you Phantom Puppet, since that's who you really are. But you don't talk. Okay, he's just looking at me. This is kind of strange. He waves a curious wave. Wait. Hey. He, okay. He just waves hello to me. He says is that you are making an effort to strike up a conversation. Oh, he sees that I am. Okay, I'm really trying. He, me he motions for you to leave. He's tired of talking. All right, sorry. Oh, gift boy. Let's get an item. That's not what I need. Okay, you're back again. There we go. Now the thing about him is that he can't talk, so I'm loving that I got that. Oh, hi, Shadow Bonnie. I'm not here for you. Hello there. Here, have a whiteboard. He takes the whiteboard and writes thank you on it immediately. Well, you're welcome. He nods politely and points to his name tag. Well, hello there, Mime. Or Phantom Puppet, I'm calling you. And thank you for doing it politely. You ask him what his favorite color is, and he points to his eyes. So black. Okay. You crack a joke, and he flails his arms as he seems to laugh. Okay, let me think of a joke. Hmm. Why did Chica cross the road? Because she's a chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the thing that could come off the top of my head. A chicken crossing the road joke. Uh, oops, I did not mean to leave. Well, a good thing I found you already. You, stri you stroke his arm and he blushes suddenly. Oh, that's creepy. You take his hand and place it on in you. And places yours in it. Oh, I take his hand and place mine in it. He seems... Seems to be telling you that he likes that. Okay. You pat him on the head. Okay, can I find gift boy? There we go. Yes, I would love to buy a gift. Give me some more energy. Got Twelve. Can I find mine really quickly, please? Okay, I'll buy uh, a 
probably more money. Got three dollars. Oh, come on, you're cheating me. Well, I can't talk to you anyway. I'll just use the last bits to sweep the floor for money. So, hopefully I can get this. Okay, so it's another day. What will happen today? There are no more notes left for me. Oh, come on. Gift boy, hello there. Get me an item. Spooky story. Here, just take it. Hmm. Can I find him somewhere, please? Hello. Give me an item. I don't need the spooky story. Can you please give me something else, sir? Okay, I didn't need the diary either. Where is he? Take my spooky story. Finally, I found you. You comfortably reassure him that you are going to stay here. All right. He looked into your eyes deeply. Don't look too deeply. You'll see my endoskeleton. You stare back. He suddenly breaks your gaze. Oh, come on. Don't be mean. Okay, I gotta leave. Hi. I don't have any spooky stories for you. See, can I find him? Thank you. You murmur his name and he blushes softly. Phantom Puppet. Hmm. He nods politely and points to his name tag. Well, that's obvious. You ask him what his favorite color is and points to his eyes. Okay. Can I have a couple questions from him? Thank you. Ah, thank you. Another whiteboard. All right. You crack a joke again, and what? And he does what? He flails his arms around. He gives you a thumbs up. Don't you only have three fingers? Okay, makes sense actually. I don't have any spooky stories to tell you. Hello? Oh, hello there, take my diaries. Well, I don't have enough time for this. I'll just end the night. I'm so close to ending though, so hopefully I can finish this. If I can't, I'll try again. Where is he? I'm sorry for being a little impolite, but I'm trying to find him, and I can't find him anywhere. Phantom Puppet, where are you? Yes, I'll take some more. I can't buy anything. Yeah, just give me some more money. Okay, give me a couple more dollars than normal. Finally, I found you. You crack a joke and he flares his arms and seems to laugh. Here, have one of these. Thank you for writing thank you on it. Shook his arm and he blushes suddenly. Okay, thank you. You take his hand and place it in yours. You seem... He seems to be telling you that he likes that. Okay, I got to leave again. Hopefully I can find it very quickly because... Okay, there we go. He waves at you again. What does he say? He says, hello. Oh! Oh, gosh. Ha, 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 ha. You think that I like you? What? No, of course not. Oh, I was just pretending to be mute. What? That's not very nice at all. It seems so amusing how people let their guard down so easily. I wasn't letting my guard down. I was just being nice. Messing with you was so fun. The phantoms, like me, have no real heart, you know. What? I thought you were nice, phantom puppet. The moment we found someone we like, we either disappear or we obsess over them. Obsess over them. I'll have none of that. I'll make sure that none of that happens to me. And to do that, you're going to have to die, please. Please, no. Whoa! I thought we were having a connection. You are very rude. Thank you for getting me the mime root. My goodness. That's very not nice. Thank you for also giving me the review. I'm not going to leave a review 
with a rude awakening. I probably could have gone after someone else. You probably were very nice. Well, anyways, my name was Phantom Freddy. Hopefully you liked this commentary, and if you did, then slap that like button like a gentleman or a lady. And if you are new, then subscribe. And I will see you all next time. And thank you for coming to F Eddie Fazbear's Pizza. Wrong place. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Thank you. That's it. Farewell, everyone.